Yeah, I'll do it in reverse today. Yeah, that mm. threw me off. That <laughs> sounded <laughs> better though. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, it sh- maybe it should be that way from now on. <laughs> Yo. The yat into the throat was crazy. <laughs> uh, and we're live. Main Chef Podcast, episode 230. Come it's on. That time. Come on. The real is back. The real is back. I am him. Hemi Neutron in the flesh. He's him. If you don't know, get to know. Do your Googles. It's two Dems. Dancing. Watch your back. DK, the best member of the Dark Skin Society. You already know what it is. Episode 230. Let's get it. Let's get it. Colson Nusi, Don Collier in the building, the one and only. AKA L. Coolins. AKA C Note. AKA Hollywood Cole. Yes, sir. Coming for your left ear, your right ear, surround sound, smart speakers, portable speakers, you name it, we dare. Mm. Episode 230. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I'm trying to set up the cameras. I like some of the E-man's drips. What the <laughs> fuck does he know about cameras? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, the, the cameras must... <laughs> I'm just going to have to do this for a second before I put the camera profile but it's the Iman G45 yes, the G sir. sort of my name 45 is silent Come it's on. Genghis Jibogwe it's the mm. Prince of the East mm. Tinfoil at Eames God is great yes sir bless the pod bless you all of the above my God is better than your God mm. there is no other God but him he is him yeah Vladimir Putin that's what you want to get off <laughs> <laughs> no whatever whatever, whatever took, out, took out his best stop so what happened? I don't really know what's happening right now. Um, you guys are gonna have to fill in the blanks. So, oh, that's, that's, I, I saw, I saw, I saw so, snippets of the interview. Eman, you sent it to me, but I, I don't know what else so is what's Alexi going on. Nen, I don't know how to pronounce his surname. His name is his first name is Alexei. He was the opposite, the leader of the opposition in Russia, and he was sent to prison and he died in prison. You know what it means. You know what that means in a state like that. He was he was taken out. Damn. And they, do you know what? They've been trying to take him out for a while. So this was just a successful attempt. Um, the West is saying they're blaming Putin, saying that, you know, th- this is Putin's fault. He led to this. I'm, I'm, I don't necessarily like Putin, but when a lion acts like a lion, why are you surprised? He's, he's not a good man. And so... And it's stated as such. Yeah, and he himself has given enough evidence to show that. I don't understand when the West is surprised when Russia acts a certain way. Like, it's a one-party nation. It might pretend to look like there's a dem- there's democracy there, but how long has Putin been in power? So let me get this straight. Sorry, are you losing weight? Me? Yeah. A uh, little bit. How come? Do I look slimmer? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What? Just in general? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I've been running, Sorry. man. Sorry, dude. Nah, that, <laughs> that was a crazy detour. <laughs> no, it was just like... Oh, yeah, I, I guess so. Kind of. Oh, okay. Ish. I'm trying to, like, uh, get more lean. I see. Um, I hear it, I hear it. What was I going to ask? Is this basically, like... Um, my man getting rid of Kerr Steimer. Yeah, it'd be like Rishi no, Kling, I, Kirsten, I, I, I don't know. That's I don't know crazy. If he's, he's because close, I think I think he started off as a reporter. He's the closest thing they have out there to opposition. That's what yeah. I learned from my research. Yeah, but I'm I'm not sitting here like. But if oh, I have pride man, for my country, have done that? If I have if I have pride <laughs> my, if I have pride for my country, I'll do the same. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, listen, he had a, he had a wife and kids. Yeah, they no, told actually, you no. relax. If I was him, I would have. I would have. If I was him, I'm I, not him. I don't care about many things. But, but yeah, if you got wife and kids, allow it, man. Just leave him in prison. Yeah, for it? real. Yeah. Now that he, they don't have a dad and the wife is now a widow, just some you you'd proven you'd made your point. You know, it's corrupt. There's lots of corruption in that nation, and. He'd been at the forefront, but I don't, I don't know. But then, you know, a lot of great men have had to lose, men and women, sorry, have had to lose their lives in order for the cause. You know, MLK lost his life. Malcolm X lost his life. The list goes on and on. Those are two that just come to mind. Great people tend to lose their life when they're fighting for something they believe in. But I just feel, I feel for him because he, 
He went back to Technically Russia. speaking, MLK died in hospital, not because of the gunshots. And But you already know who... So they took him out. I don't know who they is. Because it, be, it could be CIA. And then it could... could I, well, I mean... No, yeah, it could be Either CIA. Either way, a good man... And then, on the other hand, it could just be racist. Either way, a good man yeah. lost his life because of something that he believed in. Whether the racists didn't want him there because they didn't like him, or the CIA wanted or to get him was, out of there. Or maybe it was one of the girls who was swinging on. But we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, he was cheating. And people need to talk... Like, listen, that's why... He was a I'm okay, got bitches. <laughs> that's crazy. Coretta Scott King who? <laughs> listen, man. She's my... She's my Coretta. <laughs> um, <laughs> she held it down like Coretta. <laughs> and Malcolm... Listen, man. To be yeah. fair, he was killed by the... Islam, yeah, I guess I said the, Islam the, nation. The, the, the nation of Islam. Mm. Well, it's believed that he was killed by the nation of Islam, but then also either the FBI or the CIA had something they might to do have. I mean, what's because it? Because when they investigated, I believe... I should not forget his name, but homeboy um, that Daniel Kaluuya played, what an incredible story That's as well. Uh, yeah. 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 Forget Fred, his Fred, name. Is it they Duncan? killed him. Yeah, like, yeah. point blank. Nah, nah. They so they, they, they got him up out of there. Yeah, they, mm. they let so him. the point is, uh, Lexi, it's a terrible situation. You know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know everything about geopolitics, but... I I thought with the the interview that he had with Tucker Carlson was almost like a last cry for Putin to say, let's just stop the shenanigans and let's try our very best to actually sort Cause, this out. Because mm, for me, he's the one that will press that button. Like, you might all acting... <laughs> stop playing with this guy. Mm. Like, he's he's not the one to mess with. And he's, the pride that he has for his tapped. nation as well. Yeah, like, he, like he'll... You know, you know, what the West is doing is Putin is coming with an AK-47 to a battle rap. You might not trying to use your words to go against him. <laughs> it's not... Like, what are you talking about? Mm. Use your wits. Use your... Stop playing with that man. That's why when they... Even, I'm not going to say, I don't know, I don't know. You can't just let people steamroll and bully into nations. But how passionate he feels about that war, you ain't going to get him off. He's not coming up off that. And and more so, like, th- there's there's more info. I mean, it was stuff that I saw on TikTok, ultimately. But it was just like, the way Ukraine has been set up with the, the neo-Nazi sort of... Um, the Nazism that he was speaking of, like that's actually been documented for time. Mm. So he's not talking. He's not. Well, spe- he's not speaking lights. Zelensky's got ties to Nazis, no? Yeah, uh, and he's Jewish as well. well I, I'm just saying the fact. I'm not okay, trying to prove yeah, a point yeah, yeah, in anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna say <laughs> what race. The doctor. Sure. It was a Jewish doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um. Um. But then. Ultimately, like, he wasn't spewing lies when he was speaking about that. However, um, it's it's the fact that he said, listen, I already, we already set up agreements and treaty and everything. And I said, listen, this war could have been done time mm. ago. Yeah. And it's just Boris Johnson had to open his mouth. And where is he now? I just thought that was very interesting. But So what what's yeah. the point there that Boris gassed up Zelensky? Yeah. Every and time like, I see that man, he's in what cameras makes it and worse, that t- get him out of here. What makes it worse is that the military industrial complex in the United States is benefiting highly. So yeah, basically, yeah. they'll donate money to them. They'll buy the weapons from the United States and then they get filled. They, like, they win we again. Know, I mean, we know the game. And then moreover, he's now gone to BlackRock. Zelensky has gone to BlackRock to help with the redevelopment of the Ukraine. Obviously, when there's a war, there's money to be made. Don't get it twisted. Too much money. Like, black folk are laughing. I actually could, just can't believe that's an organisation. I might have to invest in them. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. They're up right now. Yeah, super up. <laughs> With the Bitcoin and everything, the ETF. Yeah. Um, might have to run that through. But yeah, I guess to go back to uh, the situation with Alexi, it's, it's very sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And... It's, right, it's someone who stood up it. for what he believed in. And they were on his ass. Like, they'd uh, poisoned him on several occasions. They'd um, thrown, like, some form of acid to the point that, like, it, he, it affected one of his eyes. Damn. Like, he's, he was a real, I want to say martyr to his cause. Like, he, he believed in, I want to say, a more free Russia. 
um, just or not even a more free Russia, but just a Russia that has more information, you know. Right. Um, and I respect him because he was a stand-up dude, and obviously. He stood on business. Like, he had a wife and kids. He leaves people behind, but he believed in the cause so much that he kept pushing for it. And I stand by that. Mm. And even I can say, look, I'm just, I'm built different. You start threatening my wife and kids or there's a possibility that my wife and kids will be left without me, then, you know, I would chill. But he saw that as probably more ammunition. And he might be of the opinion that, you know what, even if I die, I don't want them to be stuck in a Russia or a world where, you know, there is such a reality. But I just don't like the, what's it called? The way the West behaves when someone else does something. Like you, man, haven't done this yourselves before. Oh, too many times. Mm. Yeah. Saying, going out there and saying stuff that's going to get my man heated, saying, well, this death is on Putin. D- brother, you know who he is. <laughs> you know what he's on. And just take time, relax when you want to talk. But yeah, horribly sad situation. Yeah, and yeah. you know we send thoughts and condolences to his family, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything yeah. else to say? Nah, uh, I know. I know on the on on the on the list was Monique. Oh yeah, uh, we can really get into that. Did everyone see enough of the clips from it? To have an I don't know what's going on with that either. You're gonna have to give me the lowdown. Um, what what happened? <coughs> so Club Shay Shay is having a run of a well, <coughs> Shannon Sharp, but. Club Shay Shay is having a hell of a year. Obviously, they had the Cat Williams uh, sit down, and now they've had the sit down with Monique, which I think is approaching 10 million views wow. on YouTube. Um, talk less of all the clips doing well. Um, and it was just a real insight into her career. I feel like we're really getting to look behind the curtain at the moment between the Cat Williams doc and this one, and seeing that, you know, a lot of the people. The big names, your Oprah's, your Tyler Perry's, your um, Kevin Hart, they've come on and they, you know, they've shook the, uh, they've shook the table a little bit. Um, it's just been very interesting to watch unfold. I think the situation with Monique is fascinating because she was called hard to work with, and her just more or less trying coming on here to refute those claims if that makes sense. Mm. She's she's more or less been blackboard. I've never seen... That's why her situation has always fascinated me because Monique is an Oscar winner. And if you win an Oscar, you should be able to work Bags. for the rest of yeah, your life. Even... It doesn't matter. I don't care if you're doing little shindig movies, you will always be able to get work. Yeah, and even she if you, even if you pick up a, a woman in... in um in the middle of New York and try to shove it in a car, you still be able to work. You talking about I, homeboy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you're <laughs> if you've won an Oscar, yes, that yeah, she, they'll they'll just like keep it silent for five they'll years. They'll find a way to get you roles, and she just hasn't been able to yeah. because of the claim against her that is she's difficult to work with. Now this came from Tyler Perry. She has evidence to refute that, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and you know you can go and find the the voice. The call between the two of them was out has been put out there. Now, it he says she's difficult to work with, or it all stems from the fact that for Precious, they asked Monique to do promo, and Monique said that's not in my contract. Monique was paid sixty thousand for that role. She oh, said wow. that's not in my contract. I'm not doing any promo. Cool, and it seemed that they left it at that. Now, listen, I'm different. If they'd said, "Yo, we think you could win an Oscar for this role." It's getting a lot of buzz. I know it's not in your contract. Could you do promo? I would have done it. But yeah, but then that that comes down to um, remember remember the racist remarks from one of like the executives of the, one of the studios. For well, I don't I don't think it was racist, but it was a slander to to Kevin Hart because he didn't tweet. Is it? Yeah, he didn't tweet promotion. He says no, that's a separate contract. Like, yeah, it you, is. You it is. It is. Contract. Yeah, you have to put especially Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart can do a film for you, but if it's not in his contract to go ham on his socials and promo it for you, he he, does, yeah, he won't he's do not it. Doing it. So that was her argument. I would have done it even if it hadn't been in. If you're telling me there's a chance you at least even get Oscar nominated, cool. Let me see what I can do for you. Yeah. But you know what, Monique is... One thing I learned from that interview is Monique is a woman of principles. I really 
enjoyed seeing yeah. seeing that in there mm-hmm. and she's already a strong confident woman who seems to be partnered with a strong confident man and when those two come together i think a lot of the times people who are strong and confident often get misjudged and i think that's what's happened it's quite especially in hollywood where there is uh a, almost a, a pay your dues or you should just do things because you know and that's mm. not how some people work what do you mean i'm not gonna just do that because so i think her stance was it weren't in the contract i'm not doing it and now she's been she basically come out and said i shouldn't be blackboard i should be able to get work and she's been stopped from getting tens of millions of dollars that's what she claims yeah, yeah. because of the fact that she was blackboard and now we're even seeing it play out again but taraji took the route that maybe Monique would could have taken in a sense that they played with Taraji for the colour purple mm. and she came out and complained. Obviously, something's clearly been said behind the scenes and then she had to publicly apologise to Oprah and then when they've been in the same spaces, she's had to act cool, even though Oprah's been the cause of her pain recently. Mm. Or at least that's how it's been portrayed. Right. Yeah. So a lot of crazy things came up in that interview, just the fact that, you know... Even the situation with Kevin Hart, I feel a type of way about it. You know, Kevin Hart basically told her, paid for, like, gave her some money, which sounds like it was quite a chunk. And then... He's done that for a lot of people. Yeah. And um, I, I yeah. commend him for that. And then on the phone, they had a conversation. He was like, da 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 I'll help you with whatever you want to do. I'll executive produce it, whatever it is you want to do. Monique told her company that, hey, let's try and get this show piloted. Kevin Hart's going to produce it. Kevin Hart's people got on the phone and said, yo, cut that shit out. Yeah, like, we're not rolling yeah. with it. That, I'm not too pressed on because a man's already given you money. My thing is... No, it's, it's, it's not the fact of money. It's if I give you a promise and you don't fulfill the promise. I hear it. Yeah. But more so, there's a way of doing business. Mm. And you have to run the idea through Kevin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then let Kevin basically expand that and then say okay let's go to the studio let's get this mm. contract sorted out at least give him that sense of yeah, control because yeah, yeah. when you just say yeah Kevin Hart said he will do it it's like true true yeah yeah and I, but, um, t- that's why the whole argument with Kevin I think it just made Kevin seem like a stand up guy and I wouldn't have made promises I couldn't keep but I think he's already given you money and it sounds like it was a large sum as well. I'm gonna I I wouldn't even have personally. No, but that that, that that was given that was money given time ago. Even and then that helped out. Then f- moving forward, she went on to sh- then they then they did the show together. I think there was the podcast or whatever the mm. case is. And then even from that, it was like, okay, cool, let's get something sorted out. Forget about Tyler Perry at the moment, yeah. but let's get something sorted out. And then the next thing is like, she's gone and done a move without informing him. Yeah. And I think that's where it was just like, nah, it, ain't yeah. right. it doesn't run like that. I and just I think hope... after two years not calling, <laughs> I, I think that's just that's he never, crazy. She never spoke to Kevin Hart again. That's crazy. Yeah. Listen, that's, I, that's brazen. I can't say I'm all that surprised that that's the approach that Kevin has taken. Mm. But I think he still comes out in a good light in that. But people like Tyler Perry... You know, literally say, admitting <laughs> that he'd essentially made something up to stop her career. Oprah having the same impact, you know, all because she didn't want to promo a film, which is well within her rights to do. It's kind of sad to see. No, I think Tyler Perry's a weirdo. Like, I've, I've always, I didn't know who Tyler Perry was. You just thought it was Medea. No, because the thing is, I never watched. I've not I, watched. I, you even even the Medea, whole, I didn't even know that was Tyler Perry. Like whole, I watched the Boondocks. Then I'm like, who the hell are they talking about? Many mm. years later, I find out there's a Tyler Perry, and I'm like, oh, oh, and I'm like, oh, that's a bit weird. I mean, we already have enough of an issue within our own community about them putting our biggest celebrities in a dress, and then. He's he's the, been in the, the dress Boulay. his whole career. Yeah, he stay in a dress. The, I mean, I mean, it's gatekeeping though, because the thing is, I think 
When now we look at Fifty Cent and we think to ourselves, Nah, Fifty Cent has been stand up since the very beginning. Mm. Like the way he's treated people and given them opportunity time after time. If they've now just gone and disrespected him, it's like, alright, man, mm. let it rain with all the disrespect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. It's done. So then now we see how he's done certain people in every aspect. Like if if he's kind, he's kind. And if you really like show like you give a return on your promise then bro he's always going to keep you good mm. so we look at we look at people like 50 cent and we say okay decent yeah. then we look at diddy we look at um tyler perry we look at um kevin hart with the cat williams situation um I wouldn't. I don't want to say Kevin Hart because oh, yeah, I feel that's, that's I, a bit I think of a, he's getting a bad rap. Uh, yeah, he's I, getting a bad rap. But then because I think Cat Williams and Kevin Hart that's really personal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Steve Harvey, yeah, he's, he's shown clown. enough. He's shown enough to basically <laughs> say, yeah, 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 yeah you're agree. just a different breed. Mm. I How hit- can your wife be the contribution to your success when you had three wives, <laughs> and then ultimately the, the the latest one is cheating? Huh? With the security guard. Yeah, that's like power. Yeah, power season one. Uh, there you go. <laughs> what? Wait, she's shooting with the bodyguard from Power Season One. No, it is like that. Yeah, oh, like okay, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you watch Power Season One? Yeah, I did. Um, it's the what's his name? Shane. I think it's that his name. They killed him, though. No? Oh yeah, Ghost nah, got him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ghost finished nah, him. No, 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 not Ghost. Fifty Cent. He killed his own son. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 What that is time? funny. Um, Fair enough. But yeah, no, I think the whole situation with Mon- Monique is very interesting. <coughs> and I think we'll see more of this. I think a lot more will. Is Shannon Sharp posted it as well? Again? What? Her on the show, or was it somebody else? Am I bugging? What do you mean? Because Shannon Sharp had um, Cat Williams on there. Was yeah. it the same show? Yes, yeah, same, same show. show same oh, okay, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, cool, same cool. I mean, so I, I wouldn't say go home and then watch the whole I probably, I'm not going to watch it. I just. I'm but the clips, kind of, uh, the clips were good. Actually, yeah, yeah, no. It's, I mean, it was an interesting conversation. Just yeah. more so because it's always nice to... It's a bit messy, but peep behind the curtain, see what's going on with them and how they conduct themselves. Like, some of the stuff that's <laughs> happened to her in her career, her trailer blew up on one of her That's films. crazy. What? How did that happen? Yo, they like that. There was <laughs> no <laughs> way. How? Um... That's crazy. They said they kept smelling gas and they were like, yo, there's an issue oh with the trailers. God, that's my worst and they weren't doing anything to sort it out. And then, fortunately, she wasn't in it, but one of the trailers blew up in one of her films. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, um, absolutely fascinating. Uh, but I think that's all there is to say on that. Um, we can now review a Vultures one. Thoughts, lads? Incredible album. Did you like it? I really, really? enjoyed the <laughs> album. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to dislike it so much because the writing You've is gone too far. awful. This is some of the worst lyrics I've ever heard in my life. And do you know why? But the beat is not there. The beats, oh my god! On fuck some. What, what's that? Paperwork. That's yeah. the best Quavo performance I've heard in years. Yeah. You gonna make my army late for work? <laughs> He's a. He's an absolutely terrible. Like oh, I don't know, he's he's in a state of mind. Whatever, da, da, da. I don't want to talk too much on him, the person. Yeah. But the musician. Yeah. I keep, you know I what? Keep, try, I kept trying to not like it as well, like hmm. pushing it back as the days were going by. And the closer we got to Saturday, I was like, I'm gonna have to talk about it on the pod. And I was just like, this is an incredible album. And I saw, I kept seeing one star reviews from the popular publications. I was like, what did you man listen to? I hear everything people have to say about lyrics. It's not there lyrically. Ty's never really been a lyricist, but MVP performance from him. I hope this really pushes him into another stratosphere because he's that guy. But this is it. This is music. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Iman, thoughts? Um, Yeet. I'd, I'd, uh, fuck someone personally that song okay I'll say this about this song Yeet was a feature but Travis was a collaboration in like to, the way he's there in the background ooh, like the way he's just doing is that. Yeet is that Yeet backing vocals no that's Travis oh okay yeah, 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 yeah. but the way it was just like you can tell there was the difference I know what you're trying to mm. say yeah. he was the feature Yeet was the feature and then Travis was the collaboration because when Travis you hear Travis' voice. 
it's like oh. yeah, yeah, yeah like this is Le Flame, superb baby, you on fire this is superb production yeah, that's, that, yeah 100% man and um, that's what it is like, I think except for the first song the first song kind of threw me off it was like mm, whatever and then Keys to My Life I felt like it was a bit slow then it got into the groove but I feel like the whole album did that actually like yeah. it starts off quite slow and then it gets going and it picks up mm, a real pace mm. and then the last three songs you know kind of mellow out but that there's a little run there that this is some of the best music I've heard in a long time in terms of production and that's how important production is like people actually trying to do clever things with music like Carousel him getting the uh, into Milan Ultras to do the backing vocals. I couldn't even have thought of that. Genius. But, yeah. th- but there is an elevation on that. Because I'm not going to sit here and say uh, Rich the Kid is an incredible rapper or he makes that performance. But his vocals, supported by the, in- the Inter Milan Ultras, it's just something else. Like, it's clever. Like, it's just, there's clever shit happening. Even on, I, I hate to keep going back to the song, but even on Fox Summon, that I, when I first heard it, I thought, what the fuck is Alvin and the Chipmunks doing on this song? But yeah. I came to love it. Like, I was like He just, he tried something different. I can't hate someone for thinking outside the box. Yeah. And my biggest criticism of the album will continue to be the lyrics. If he had a better writer around him. Push a T. It, he could have been clear. Because sometimes you're saying, well, what are you actually talking about? There's some egregious lyrics on here as well. <laughs> Egregious. Yeah, I, I, um, I came, I crashed, boom. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many moments like that on there. Um, how do I feel about this album? I think it's good. And there's, you know what? And there's so many good. tracks from, like, from the time of Donda Two, up until Everybody. That was just not in the album for the V1. Yeah, I know. So it's like, this is what he's given us so far, and it's been superb. If everybody had been on there, we could have been talking about a classic. Because I, I just feel like it doesn't have that like single that I don't know if everyone can get behind. I just mm. felt like everybody sounded great, and it sounded like something you'd want to hear out. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I don't know if it has that. Like, I will like fuck something or carousel or paperwork or paid when I'm on my own running or just going about life but I don't know if any of the songs like that will hit outside and you know what shouts out to Northwest I didn't see the vision but on the album I'm kind of fucking with it because that that sample is incredible yeah yeah yeah. and then you can hear James Blake harmonising the talking Mm. you know what I'm going to be a I'm going to be a Debbie Downer I think it's good um I agree with you. the The production is incredible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The production is absolutely incredible, but I just feel like my criticisms are just the same criticisms I've had post Pablo in the sense that the quality is glaringly lower, like like very obviously lower. If but that makes any sense. Because <sighs> I, I don't want to compare this to anything <clears throat> my beautiful that way. Any any anything post Pablo for me. I could probably classify it as a different artist. I'll be completely raw. Mm. Like everything before that, they're all nines minimum to me. Jesus, min- minimum a nine. Minimum. Well, you say Jesus is a nine? Yeah, nine I, minimum. I agree. I agree with that. Minimum. I agree. Everything until Pablo, there was no misses. I've never seen an artist do this in history, in my opinion. Obviously, everybody's opinion is Jesus different. Jesus is a nine. That's crazy. Jesus is crazy. But, and it grew on me. But anyway, what. what That's the album, though. I did love it. My whole point is this like, I'm kind of echoing what you're saying. Like, Production incredible, lyricism terrible, features decent. I think everyone um, did their thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I think decent. Some of them I was like, mm. there was a verse by somebody who I was like, this didn't need to be here. Um, Carty's verse on Carnival. Oh, oh, Car- what, what was that? Why do I keep saying Carousel? Car- Carty keeps trying to destroy some of Ye- Ye's best songs post mm. Pablo. His verse on um, Off The Grid almost destroyed that song. And actually, yeah. the song is incredible. Yeah. You, remember we spoke about it? Carter's verse on Off The Grid. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. Off The Grid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... And then all of a sudden, Fabio comes on and you're like, ooh, like yeah, that is yeah, the yeah. word the song begins. So for me, like, like songs like uh, Burn, for example, I think that song is fantastic. That might be the best song on there, personally. Yeah. Because you can hear... 
uh, Dollar Sign doing what he's supposed to do on a beat like that, like gliding, doing the ver- um, mm. doing the um, chorus, sorry. And then Ye's verse is actually, that's Ye's best verse on here, really. Yeah. That sounds like old Ye where he's in those pockets, he's being cheeky, he's talking about losing a bill to be free. Like that is quintessential Ye and what I assumed in you know, the best case version of them to collaborate, what it looked like. But besides that like there was a couple songs on there where i was a bit like mm, like the um do it song i felt like shouldn't be on there really mm. and truly if you if you take what it sounds like and that west coast la like yg bop from yeah. 2014 yeah. Yeah, that yeah. shouldn't really be on there it shouldn't be on there. it starts a bit slow and ends a bit slow but that middle pocket is incredible like carnival beg forgiveness um, my personal favorite song, um, "Back to Me," yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and "Fuck Something." Like that little run in the middle yeah. is is unarguably really vultures as well. Are not, I can't argue that is yeah. really really good music. I just think for Kanye West standards, I could never ever. There's no scenario where it even touches those song, um, yeah, those albums. I don't, I don't go into his albums anymore. And I didn't have I didn't have that expectation. Don't get me wrong. I I been knew I been knew that yeah. he's of he's whatever you want to call it. He has definitely quote unquote fallen off. He will never get to that standards yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like uh-huh. compared to what he's given us before, it is still of the same, in my opinion, post Pablo trajectory. And it is what it is. Like I like I actually kind of liked Donda. I'll be honest with you. So I I view this on Donda as like kind of like steps up compared to what the other albums yeah, yeah, were yeah, before yeah, that. Yeah. Like the Ye and Jesus King. Yeah, Those yeah. albums were terrible. Yeah. But these ones are actually okay. Mm. So it's more of a, for me. It's more of the same. It's just the lyricism. Yeah, I, I really really wished he just stopped that, stopped rapping and became a producer. Because be that would be fantastic this, for me. That would be that could have been the dream. Yeah, I don't really. I don't, I don't need to. I don't really need to hear him rap he's not i don't like any song because of his verse if that makes sense like he didn't elevate any song with his rapping i think his if he'd said i'm gonna produce ty dollar sign's album that be hands-on make all the executive decisions have real involvement not when they just say oh someone says executive producing my album is some phony shit like really involved this could have been perfect but that's my problem with ty though that's my only problem with Ty. I don't think, and this is my personal opinion, I know people love Ty, mm. but I don't think he can do an album for himself as the main artist mm. and it be captivating enough. I think he's mad talented for what he can do. Like he does hooks incredibly. Like there's, he's one of the best hook makers. He's got re- he's like a really good verse, um, voice, sorry. But I don't know if like a, a Ty Dolla Sign album produced by Ye would work unless the the features were supreme enough to kind yeah, of build yeah, around yeah. I, it. But I think that would have been the case. Yeah, and yeah, that, that would have been what we. It's an, it's almost what we got here, really. S- somewhat, cons- considering uh, Kanye West's lyrical p- uh, performance. Oh my god! I need to find there was a, there was one that I was like, wow, that might be the worst bar I've ever heard. Terrible. In my life. Some 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 really really funny bars. <laughs> Something about Papa John eating Papa John's. In like the living room or something like that, I was like, "What are you even talking about?" Whip them down in front of the sky, you know. I can't lie, I love that song, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Only him can say something I like wish that on let a track. Freddie, come in, come in earlier. Pause, but. Oh, Freddie gives verse, yeah. Yeah, incredible. Oh my days, man. He really did his thing, and I, this I like. Guy. I'm happy for him because he deserved a moment like that. Yeah, one hundred percent. You know why that's that's a great collaboration on, on that one? It's because Pusha T, his voice doesn't match that record. The way it's too Freddie quick Gibbs, for him. yeah. Mm. The way Freddie Gibbs, his voice, his presence, yeah, is perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. That verse is insane, man. Yeah. That verse is absolutely the album. insane. Yeah. Oh yeah, by by far. And you're right. He does deserve this. Like obviously shenanigans of outside of music aside, like mm. the man has put out. Some, oh, in my yeah. opinion, some of the best rap albums in, since like 2019. In agreed, my opinion, agreed. maybe even you can even go back as far as even Pinata. Whenever Pinata come out, like but he's been on a run. The song "Good Don't Die" has taken it off, haven't they? They've taken off the album, but it's still on Spotify. Uh, Spotify. Yeah, that I know they were having a nightmare with clearing. Why? Because he's not signed to Def Jam anymore. So I think it'd make things considerably a lot harder because now he doesn't have a machine. But the song is still on streaming services, though. 
The song is still on streaming services. Oh, I don't know. I, yeah. well, I, I just think it's made, it probably have made... I thought it's, I, I think it's a good move to remove the song off the album and leave it as a standalone because quite I can't literally... I really remember how that song goes. I need to listen to it again. It was, song. but it, it has a, a clear sample on yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, that's why. Listen, I think overall, I think he did a good job and you can tell like he ha- was having fun with it. He yeah, actually yeah. seems like he's enjoying himself. Like I was watching him perform Carnival and it looks like he's back in his enjoying, like he's enjoying yeah. making music again. Yeah. And rightfully so, like you can put all the shenanigans aside. We know Kanye West for making music mm. and he's, he is undeniably good at making music. He That's, may not be as good as he used to be, but he can still give you incredible moments still. I just kind of wish all the other shenanigans didn't coexist alongside it but that's just me you know nitpicking. yeah no same it's... but my my only issue is, is that apple decided to remove his album from the streaming platform and i think that's a problem because well it's definitely back because i've got it here oh is it yeah, yeah, yeah but i did notice that i had to, yeah it I, was... I think it's a problem because if they do that then they have to then take that sort of judgment upon every other artist yeah, who has agreed. done any sh- sort of shenanigans or associated with shenanigans. Well, that's always been the point. Like, yeah. um, and then, Spotify was going to remove Triple X's yeah. whole catalogue after, he, you know, in a, the, um, to stand with women's rights. Because I think he had, well, I don't think, I know he had an issue, a domestic violence issue against him. But then his point, and this is why they had to backtrack, was, okay, Let's do that. Take my music down. But then you'd have to delete near on all the music in history. Exactly. If you look at what some of them rock stars were doing in the 70s, nasty work. Yeah, for real. They're worse than R. Kelly. They, psh, tell yeah. him again. They're worse than R. Kelly. Facts. Man really <laughs> called himself Yay Kelly. Bill Cosby. What did he say? P- I'm now I'm, yeah. I'm Yay Kelly, bitch. I'm P. Diddy, rich. I'm P. What's Bill it? Bill Cosby, Cosby, rich. That's me to me, rich. Yeah. Would you say my suck my dick? Did Would you say suck my dick? dick? <laughs> He's a dickhead. <laughs> He's such a dickhead, man. <laughs> He's one of a kind. He does make me see. laugh, I can't lie. Yeah. Did it, is the album going number one? Is that what Oh, yeah, it's got number one. Yeah. It went number one? Yeah, yeah, yeah it sold 150k. In well the UK, done. In the US, sorry. I think, it's oh, got, wow. I think it's going number one in the UK as well. Well done. Sh- listen, in the independent release... Stuff. Yeah, well, obviously, like Usher's not gonna, Usher's not gonna put up. Not, Usher did fine, obviously, like the old Super Bowl helped him. So I think he did like ninety k. But like at this stage of Usher's career, and if it's considering that it's R and B slash pop, he you won't really get much out the get the first week out the gate. Mm. So he was always gonna outsell Usher. Okay, but I think the fact that Ye could do one fifty k independently, he it kind of speaks to what you said last week where. You said I don't know who it was, which artists we're talking about, but basically, Ye's in that category where he can sell a hundred k minimum a week for the rest of his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T- first week because and he still easy. has that core fan base that people will listen, and if even the people like me who used to love him in the past find him annoying now, but we'll still listen to him. We'll still yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. music wise, he's good. Like he needs to realize. You know, fashion is great, but music is his bread and butter, well, man. Yeah, let's be, let's be, let's be so real. Fashion is his bread and butter. It's just that music... Well, he's messed that up. Yeah, no, music is always going to be his creme de la creme. But fashion, yeah. Hmm. He's, he's always going to he's always gonna become a billionaire for fashion and so on and so forth. Again, and you think he can repeat? Yeah, he's... Repeat he, being a billionaire They're, 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 they're going to release the Yeezys with Adidas this year, again. Oh yeah, Cause it's, if it's, he can keep his mouth shut, is that, is that the? So after all of this, he's gone back. Is that, it's is not that, that he's gone on? back. It's just that's the agreement. <laughs> they Wait, still what? have to sell all that product because uh, it's it's more uns- it's, un- it's unsustainable man. to keep all that product. So they have to sell it. And then what? They're gonna discontinue Yeezy Adidas. It would make a lot more sense to do so. So he's gonna go back if if they want to stand. I saw if they him and CEO of Adidas. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. That's right. So that picture, yes. But if they are to stand on business, if they are to stand on business, they should just discontinue the the the, the Yeezy. Adidas I thought that's what they were gonna do. Collaboration. To, I don't know. I don't want to say. I hate when people. No, say but they have to, to sell the product Africa, first. But like, there's people who who need even give it to people who need it. Just sell it for free. No, they're not on that. It's not sustainable. How? They, it's just not sustainable. there's m- there's probably billions of people around the world who would need free shoes yeah but you still need to make it sustainable financially sustainable 
Oh, you're saying financially? Yeah, yeah it plus the shareholders sense. on top are saying, listen, we need our peas. We need know. our dividend. We'll see. But listen, I think incredible album. I, yeah. Strong 7.5 to an 8 for me. I was, mm. I really enjoyed it and I'll keep going back to it. And I've got some great singles from it. Um, and I hope one day we'll be able to have the CDQ for everybody. But until then, this was a great piece of work. Oh. And I totally agree with all of your criticisms. After he was rapping about Burger King, I, I don't. He, he can keep that song. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't. Yeah, know. There's loads of songs that like <laughs> keep that I'll never listen to again. But like the songs that I've got and that I've really no, on the enjoyed, album, I, yeah, yeah, I really yeah, enjoyed. Yeah, and yeah. it feels like a lot s- smoother and more of an enjoyable listen. Not to compare the two of them, than say something like For the Dogs. Like I just didn't feel there was as much filler. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I can compare the two. Can't wait to at hear Drake's point. inevitable. I don't know if I can compare shot. the two at, the, at this point. I it's think I pref- I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Both of them kind of exist in that ether for me, where it's like you've you've done a good job, and I clearly see that you've put in effort. Yeah. But I still don't know if I stack them towards your best. But yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe exist in the same vein. We'll uh, see. Let's see how how it, um how like you know it lives. We shall. Yeah. Um. All right, does anyone have... I think that's the topics for this particular week. So, music. As we reach the 40-minute mark. Sky, you know... Well, I'm going to pick a song by Bryson Tiller called Whatever She Wants. Oh, what um, a song. He's been teasing it for a few weeks. Yeah, well done to... Put it on SoundCloud a couple months ago with this, like, mixtape he put out called Slum Village where he had, like, all these, like, old, like, samples and he was, like, rapping. But, yeah, he's put out a single... And yeah, really good. I enjoyed it personally. People are annoyed online because people were expecting him to kind of put that whole old trap soul kind of vibe. But he was very obviously clearly stating that, look, I'm past that. But oh, I, in the same project, breath. Or was it just a single? Just a single. But oh. he's saying the project will be more R&B, but don't expect me to put out trap soul for the third time. Like, it's not going to happen. Yeah. And, I'm, and I like the sound of what he put out anyway. But so, whatever so she wants, thing. I would say, is in the vein of trap soul, no? Yeah, I know. So, But people are saying, oh, it's not this, it's not that. But I'm like, you lot are not this listening is, to the this right. The, whatever she wants could easily be on trap soul. I think, so people, I think people watched the... So there's a video that came out alongside and he is like, has like massive like stacks of like bands and he's got like a ski mask on he's throwing mm. all these strippers so i think people are triggered by the imagery and thinking oh my god he's become like a trap artist but he's always been making music like this so. this is i don't mm. people are nitpicking. this is what that man this is what he m- became yeah. famous for anyway i enjoyed the yeah, great I song shout out to him um what was I gonna say uh yeah fuck seven from yay dollar sign i'm trying to what song vultures one mm. shout out to drewski man I'm trying to fuck some Drake BBL Huh? Oh okay Yeah <laughs> He didn't get BBL Oh I was terrified yeah, you I don't know The stuff that comes out about that man I, d- I don't know at this point <laughs> I, I thank god I'm not on Twitter Oh man Alright cool Nice one Yeah Till next